Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're happy to have you here on Dev on the Web. We're not going to take too much time. We're just going to get to it. Just know that this is for your entertainment. And let's go. Never meant to see. They strapped a camera to a shark and look what it captured. As you can see, the camera is attached. Now, as the shark goes deeper in the water, you won't believe the shocking sighting it caught. Wait for it. Now look. Sneaky little guys hiding under those reefs, man. <laughs> Closely. Is that a mermaid? Well, maybe, right? Of course, we keep an open mind here. It could be, but it also could be extremely staged. I'm wondering, did, did they cut any of that time from the point they, they strapped the camera to when he goes swimming away? Because if not, that mermaid was very close to them and it seems swimming towards them. So, or it could just be their friend. I bet you can buy those little fins on Amazon, huh? Hmm, what do you guys think? Do we believe in mermaids? Not sure. I never really took the time to think about it that much, to be honest. I guess it would make sense. There's some sort of human sea creature hybrid. Hmm. Water. I can't believe I've been making these videos for almost five months, and I have not talked about the terror of still water. By the way, I am very sick right now, so if I sound like a frog, that's why. Still water is one of the most terrifying things, especially to me, but in general, it is very, very dangerous and filled with millions of microorganisms, including brain-eating parasites. You don't want to ever fall in this. Oh, and by the way, those stairs being under the water like that for I don't even know how long, if you were to go on those stairs, they would immediately break with the weight of your body and you would crash down and be in that water with all of that underwater stuff. Your brain would get eaten. Underwater mechanics, underwater stairs, no thank you. Who wants to go in the still water Aussie? Not me. This is an abandoned pool that I found a picture of. Look at all the lovely, um, infectious diseases just chilling on top like that here's some more images to music how do you feel about all these because if you weren't already freaked out about water there's another reason to be I mean, who would get in there anyway unless you absolutely had to? But this is a forewarning. Any of you guys who like going, you know, sneaking into places for cool videos, avoid the water. It'll make you septic. Viral sensation. Fans, you know, I mean, you know how it is with, with people, with pets on the internet. Um, social media embraced it. it. It's not the only guy. You see squirrels, raccoons, all kinds of stuff, right? Now its owner, Mark Longo, is going through something we're not used to. He took in peanuts seven years ago, found him injured on the streets of New York City, shared their journey together on the internet ever since. Um, and it, they really had quite, quite the relationship. It was really, really cute to watch. Then, the government gets involved. New York State's Department of Environmental Conservation, DEC, raided his home and took the squirrel and this pet raccoon that he has. 
Now remember, he didn't just find these things. They said, well, he was potentially exposed to rabies. He had the squirrel for seven years. Does it look like it has rabies? And then the squirrel bit one of the investigators. So that's what they say in their statement about why this happened. They then kill the squirrel and the raccoon because that's how they test for rabies. Why was this necessary? Mark Longo, the man in the video who just lost the squirrel, joins us now. This sucks. How are you taking it? Mr. Cuomo, I just want to say thank you so much for inviting me on the show. Feel however you want about Cuomo, whatever. But it is really nice that they featured this and actually had him on because there is a huge injustice here that we should all be worried about. This is a complete overreach of the government and this is an increasing concern. They tiptoe and tiptoe over the line and we let them and let them. It has to stop somewhere because they could go in and do this to them. They can do this to your pets. They could do this to our pets. They could do this wherever. We've already heard stories about you know, rumblings that they're going to start making you have a certain number of chickens and you have to register each chicken and stuff like that. I mean, if you've ever had chickens, it's all something to be worried about. It really is. Oh, and I just want to clarify this for everybody who's going to say, oh, you shouldn't have these sorts of animals. These people have a rescue that's named after the squirrel. And they are also licensed rehabbers. So there's absolutely no reason that this needed to happen. This is literally some Karen out there. Yay yeah, you. I hope you see this someday. And all this is your fault. And the only thing I can hope is that awareness will be raised and people will stop taking this. It's not okay. Hey guys, I am interrupting your video watching just to thank you for being here to ask you to like. Hold on. Jeez. Hey guys, I am interrupting your video watching just to thank you for being here, to ask you to like, subscribe, so we can keep building the community. Feel free to share with your friends. Again, thanks. Now we're back to it. That was pretty jaunty after a very sad video. Improperly placed. Oh. And I just want to state that I had to take out my happy video from yesterday, that really funny song, if anybody got to hear it. Um, yeah, there was some copyright thing on it, so I had to take it down. So there's no happy video at the end of yesterday. Sorry. Getting exposed, but why is no one talking about Ashton Kutcher? Okay, wait, what did Ashton Kutcher even do? I'm just going to pause for you guys now and then. Feel free to pause for yourself to see. It's kind of wild that we've never heard these things. This we all knew. And if you guys know anything about this when it initially first happened with Danny Masterson, uh, 
Scientology got heavily involved in covering things up and a lot came out about them kind of protecting him and knowing what he was doing. What do you guys think about that? I think the whole thing is crumbling. All of Hollywood, all that they've been doing. Behind the scenes, it's the age of social media has made it way too easy to share what's really going on. And of course, I'll say my favorite quote, the truth is out there, but so are lies. So we may never know the truth about a lot of things, but certainly a lot of crazy claims. suspicious with Brittany Murphy's death is she had the same coroner as Kim Porter. His name was Ed Winters, and he also did Paul Walker's, Whitney Houston's, Tom Petty's, and Michael Jackson's autopsy. He ended up dying before Kim Porter's second autopsy. The coroner did? The coroner died between Kim Porter's That's first and second autopsy. super weird. Yeah, it's super, super weird. It is super weird. Humpty Dumpty is an egg. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Um, yeah, but like, it doesn't say he's an egg, so why are all the paintings depicting Humpty Dumpty now astray, lost in realms of disarray, where time's undone and shadows play, and sanity frays in the light of day. What? I always thought it was just that first bit. The king's horses and the king's men ventured beyond their mortal ken. To bring Humpty back from the void's den, they ventured into the Eldritch Glen. Wait, you're saying they tried to bring him back? In the moor of chaos they found their dread, where galaxies swirl and stars bled. They glimpsed what lay in the abyss's bed and wished for sweet oblivion instead. Okay, this is horrifying. Humpty Dumpty, once so small, became the nexus of it all. In the cosmic echo of his fall, we hear the universe's thrall. Were they okay? Did they find him? All the king's horses and all the king's men never returned home again. Humpty echoes in their screams, in a world beyond, where reality dreams. You guys ever heard that? I have never in my life. I'm not surprised that there's more to it, but I certainly would have thought it would be that dark. Although it seems like a lot of our nursery rhymes and fairy tales and fables come from a, a little bit of a dark origin, doesn't it? I wonder why we geared them towards children. A new gate? This man, his name is Cody, lives in Atlanta. He walked out of his apartment one day and noticed every single door in his hallway had a Chinese menu in the doorway. Three days later, still there in every doorway. All of them. And he's like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. It's like three days, everyone in my hall has not opened their door. And then it was like five days, still there. And he's like, this is weird. So he went down to the parking garage and looked at the cars. And the majority of the cars in the parking garage were covered in dust. And he's like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, okay, this is like freaking me out a little bit. Went through his whole apartment building, couldn't find a fire alarm. Finally, like went down like one weird hallway or whatever, found one, pulls it. And supposedly there's supposed to be 800 people living in this apartment building. No one came out. He went out into his local little nook where his apartment was mm -hmm. and every like coffee shop and place that he went to, there was always one man in there wearing a suit talking on the phone. He said, these men were all saying the same thing into the phone. And he's just like, am I living in a simulation? Mm -hmm. What is this? It's your standard run of the mill glitch day. We've all had them, I'm sure. This is so creepy. Animals know what's up. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's really creepy. Stranger. 
term. Outside. Outside. Window. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that cat's creepy. No, that cat is your best friend. Get some blinds. All right. All righty. I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys have a, had a beautiful weekend. We'll be back tomorrow. It's our goal to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Get this Monday through Friday thing. I'll let you guys know if for some reason I can't do it. I have family that lives all over the place. So there will be days like that. But otherwise, I'll see you here every day. Hope you have a good one. And I just want to say goodnight to my amazing grandma. Love you.